there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. You know, there was one building I never went into here. Or I should say one part of the building that I never went into. This obvious door over here. If you're wondering what's in here, it's her. She likes our armor. Anyway, remember that place uh, down on the ground floor that I said we'd be going to later? Well, time to go there. Also, oh, this little creature right here. Oh, well, it says it, but yeah, that's a uh, Minintos. Double exclamations all the way across the sky! No, seriously, what is with this game and the double exclamations, like, all over the place? <laughs> Another victim of the street vendor. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. I would, but unfortunately, I can't. I'm not playing the Japanese version. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a fourth wall break. Because there actually are mini games here, but I don't think I've ever heard anyone, like in real life, actually refer to those as, you know, something like that as mini games. Totally. Yeah, you're probably right about that. You got higher attack power than anyone here right now. I didn't even know this was a thing. I guess I just forgot about it. Oh, 
Well, all right then. One of the best characters in the entire game. This is the name of the continent that the game takes place on. I'm not sure if that name has come up yet. I actually wonder what the name of the world in Legend of Dragoon is. Because I know the, the continent is called Indinus, but... I don't know, maybe it's also the name of their world, because the world name is never revealed. Darn right we are! Well, he already broke the rules. Anyway, my advice, don't worry about the poison. Just take this guy down. Rush! <clears throat> now, the way this works is, well, obviously, if you win, you move on to the next round, but... Um, interestingly enough, you can actually lose these fights and still move on to the next round, because every one of your opponents will get disqualified due to something that they, you know, something involving their battle. Oh, that right there is Pellet, by the way. Just in case those Trents in the beginning never used it against me. I think that, I think one of them did. But yeah, um, your opponents will actually get disqualified, so losing has absolutely no consequence at all. But of course, you might as well fight to win. And also, the reason I'm not worried about poison or HP is because it gets restored between rounds. Your stats are fully restored every round, so it's not anything you really have to worry about. But yeah, you don't get anything extra for beating them. Like, you can win, you can lose, it affects absolutely nothing. But of course, the biggest reason you should actually fight to win is to build up your additions. And none of these guys are too hard. Although with the fourth one, you need to be careful of something. But we'll get to him when we get to him. So 
So, Surfius is a little stronger than the last guy. At least he's a fair fighter. Burning Rush! These, are, these guys would be going down a lot easier if I was using Volcano, but I've already maxed that out, so we're using Burning Rush. They're not hard anyway. Burning Rush! Yeah, Surfius actually, he has like a second phase. He'll now do a combo strike on you, and he also takes less damage. He basically used power up on himself. But still not a big deal. Burning rush! Burning Rush! Whoa, he's still alive? Alright, time to finish you. Oh. <laughs> okay, we still won. why Surfius gets disqualified if you lose to him. versus Danton. Yes. So, same old, same old. Let's take this guy down. He's got higher defense than the others. Although you'd think with such massive heavy armor, he'd be taking like below 20 damage from your attacks, but nah. Seems Dark Sword can still cut through it pretty well. Okay, now when he does this, um, you want to guard till he picks his hammer up again, because if you try to attack him uh, during that phase, he will, or while he's in that stance, he'll counter you. I might as well show it off once, just to show what he does, though. Hey, hey! Off with you! Yes! Burning Rush! Burning Rush! Not really a lot to say about this guy. Although, when his HP starts getting low, he does do something kind of dangerous. But, well, you'll see. Burning Rush! Okay, here we go. Now, you've seen the all-out attack before, but Danton's all-out attack reduces your HP to 1. Now, at this point, you could either heal or you could finish him off with a full addition. I'm going to try to finish him off with a full addition. 
burning rush! Bring it! Wow, you know, I don't think I have ever seen him not go down at that point. I could have actually died there. Well, not die, because you don't game over, really, you know, if you lose, but... Huh. Then again, I'm pretty sure that I'm usually using Volcano. Well, no, I am usually using Volcano against these guys. But yeah, I've, I've always seen him go down after one more addition, after the all-out attack. That's probably just because I was always using Volcano. It's just that now I'm not using Volcano because, you know, I went curse jar hunting for 40 minutes and that resulted in me maxing out Volcano. Normally I max it out during this part. You know, I actually own the Legend of Dragoon strategy guide, and the strategy guide even says when he uses the all-out attack, um, you, I remember it says something along the lines of you can, like, you can take the, you, you can take the man's way and try to finish him off with a full addition, or you can take the mouse way and heal yourself, or something like that. I've had that guide for probably, I don't even know, 15 years. But it's like, and from my, ex my own experience, I've always finished him off in a single complete edition after that all-out attack. So I was like kind of shocked when he survived that. Like I was kind of thinking that it was, like I was thinking it was sort of programmed to automatically finish him off. Like, regardless of how much damage you do, or that he wouldn't actually use all-out attack until his HP was, you know, at the point that your currently selected addition would finish him. I, I guess that fight isn't quite as complex as I thought it was. Or rather, I guess there's nothing really special going on in the background of that fight. So, Atlo here, he's not really that strong, but you need to watch out for something. I think it's on the third turn. It's either the third or the fourth, but you need to guard. Okay, it is the fourth turn. I was right. I wanted to be safe. This is why you need to use guard. Yeah, we just protected against fear. Because that attack will cause fear to you. I believe he does. Yeah, he. I believe he will do that every four turns, though. Yes. Burning rush. I like how this guy attacks, though. Like, I like how the targets, like, I like how the little targets pop up all over you, and then he shoots at a certain spot. Yes. Or then he shoots at a certain Burning spot. As you can tell though, it doesn't do it doesn't do different damage. Like no matter where he shoots you, it's always the same. This time I'm going to try to finish him off. Oh, he didn't. No, I'm pretty sure he does use that again. 
I don't know why I'm being so overly careful here, honestly. Ah, oh, forget it. He's in the yellow anyway. Even if I get hit by it, I don't even care at this point. We can finish him off. Yeah, he'll heal himself just like Drake did. Not by a lot, though. For some reason, I was thinking he would do that again after a certain amount of turns, but maybe he doesn't. Or maybe it's just random. Burning rush! I guess he doesn't do it anymore. Well, we got him. By the way, if you're wondering, um, Danton gets disqualified. He, like, if you lose to Danton, he, like, I think he, like, twists his ankle or something. I don't remember exactly why that led to him being disqualified, but I know that, um, like, he, he falls and twists his ankle or something, and, well, Atlo there, he obviously gets disqualified because of that special attack he used. Like, I think he gets, he get, I, I think it's because it was, like, some kind of illegal poison or toxin or something that he uses in his arrows that causes fear. Oh, well, there he is right there. We saw him briefly when we came in here a little bit earlier. Let's do this. Yeah, I bet Lloyd's not that tough. Let's win this tournament. Lloyd, you're going down. Missed. Okay, fine. Now I'll hit you. Too slow. Yeah, actually, um, you you cannot hit Lloyd, no matter what you try. He he will just dodge you every time. Because he, he doesn't abide by normal RPG mechanics, he can just dodge your attacks. He won't just sit still and take it. Also, um... Nah, I'll use a Dark Mist, get them out of my inventory. Just to demonstrate that attack items have no effect against him either. Yeah, this, this is an unwinnable boss battle. However, I believe that if you die, like, if you actually die during this fight, I think it's game over. Because I remember one time I, like, I tried to find out what would happen if I, you know, actually died during the fight and didn't heal at all. And I seem to remember it actually, like, game overing me. Uh. 
I don't know, like, I think I've seen some people say, th I think I've seen some people say that it doesn't cause the game over, but I distinctly remember it doing that. So I always try to, like, hold out in this battle, because it will end eventually. There's no point attacking him at all, so your, your best bet is to just guard throughout the entire fight. I believe he should finish us off right now. Uh, on this turn, maybe. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, we lost pretty hard. Lloyd's tougher than expected. How do you know he's not just the toughest one in, like, the Lohan region? I'm sure there's a lot of people in a lot of places in Indonesia that you've never met and never been to. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, he's probably right, Lavitz. Safe point around here. Oh, there it is. This game misses so many question marks where it needs them. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Next time, we're going to introduce Hashel to some of our friends and play mini-games! See you, everyone.